Thanks so much for watching Virginia this morning. Looking for an easy way to decorate for Valentine's Day without breaking the bank? We've got you covered. Our dear friend crafting expert Adina Anderson joins us live by Zoom with some creative ideas that you can put together in no time. Adina, it is awesome to see you. Too. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy <laughs> Valentine's Day to you too. You know, it's funny. It hits on a Monday. We've got a couple of days to have some Valentine's fun over the weekend and you've got a great lineup of ideas. I do. I do. I have a yummy cocktail. We'll start with real quick. And this is kind of a take on a Moscow mule, but you're just going to use, I use my enchanted rock vodka, but use your vodka of choice. And I'm just going to do a Michigan pour, which is about a four count. And so it's about one ounce, two ounces of vodka, depending on how strong you want it. And you could use sparkling wine, really jazzes it up. Or you could use just the ginger beer, which is what they use in the Moscow Mule. The difference is I'm going to add some of these little sweet hearts, these little conversation hearts on top, and then a strawberry for garnish and a little bit of mint. And it's so yummy and very Valentine's-y. <laughs> how interesting. So do the hearts end up dissolving in there and kind of sweetening it up? They do a little bit, yes, and they're kind of yummy to eat at the end because they soak in the, the cocktails. <laughs> and I have to do like a tea tiny little shout out. The ginger beer that you put in is my absolute favorite. Right? I love this stuff. It's it's the, what is it, fever and tree ginger fever, beer? Oh, fever tree, yes. When you see it, grab all the four packs. It's really yummy. That's a great idea. I like that one. Definitely. Now, this is our chartreuse board. And this is really fun for adults or kids to do. And you just put your favorite Valentine's looking candies and cookies. I've got the little yogurt raisins and Starburst and these yummy, yummy hearts. Oh my gosh, these are so good. I have to like get rid of them so I don't eat them all. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, you're calling it a sweet treatery board? Your chartreuse board, yes. Chartreuse <laughs> board, I love it. Yeah, all sorts of great ideas. And you could super customize that and just put it out for the whole family. Definitely. You could add peanut butter and chocolate frosting and things to dip the cookies in. You can really go crazy with these boards. And you don't have to spend a lot on the board. You could just use a piece of wood that you have or even just some plates and, and pack them around. So it doesn't have to be a big board. You can kind of jazz it up how you'd like it. A great idea. So a great cocktail, the chartreuse board. And now I think we have to get busy on the decor. Yes, we do. And so the first one I have here are these little boards back here. They're so simple to do. You could use a canvas board or I have like a wood board here. And I just used a heart doily and traced it out. And you guys know I love my decoupage and glitter. <laughs> <laughs> and just to you know recap, all you do for the decoupage and glitter is you just put a nice layer on here. And you want to do a little section at a time, especially if you're using wood because it does soak it in and dry pretty quick. Once you do that, just add your glitter to it. And this is some really fine glitter, but you could use thick glitter, fine glitter, however you want to do it. One tip I will say, do it over a plate or a piece of paper so you don't make a huge mess. And also so you can recoup it and reuse it again. But look how simple that goes on. <laughs> wow, it really is. I was I was curious because I would the tendency would be to paint the whole thing, like do with it, put the decoupage within the glue, but you say do it in stages. How do you not get the glitter back in your decoupage? Well, you just be very gentle. <laughs> be <laughs> Don't very rush careful. the process. <laughs> exactly. And another fun one, I found these cute little heart boards at the craft store. And these are just glue dots, but you could use a glue you could use a glue gun as well and just place your little glue dot on there. And this is really fun for the kids. Let them put pom-poms all over it like this one here, and they could do different colors, they could do it however they want. That's a really fun one for them to do. That is a nice one. And I think as a parent, you also read a good time investment because that looks like it's going to take a minute to put together. Maybe a couple minutes. Keep them busy, right? <laughs> Absolutely. What else do you have there, Adina? So this is a fun one for the kids if they have to take something to school for a Valentine. Just take your balloon, put your candy in here, and then you could give them a pin. Or this is just something you could do at home as well. But you have your candy in there, you blow it up. Now I'm gonna use a knife because I couldn't find a pin this morning. I give them a pin and so your candy's in here and then they, whoops, <laughs> pop it and the candy falls out like a little pinata. <laughs> It's really cute, a Valentine pinata. I like that. I'm trying to think how they, how we could attach those to the cards. They have to take them in. Maybe we'll just do that one at home. What a great idea. Right, exactly. And then another really cute and easy idea 
is the little clay pot. This is something they could give at, to the teacher or maybe their, their friend, or you could give to a neighbor or just someone that pops in, you know, around the house around Valentine's Day. And all I did was take a regular little clay pot. They're like 50 cents at the craft store. I painted it some Valentine's colors, filled a little bag with the, my favorite yummies, <laughs> and then put a little glitter heart on it. And then you could write their name on it. You could write Happy Valentine's Day or just leave them blank so that in case you don't know who's coming over or who you want to give it to, hand them out. Those are awesome. Really, really sweet ways to make some meaningful gifts that everybody can get their hands on and enjoy putting together. Plus, that char treatery board is just like that's next level. Thank you, Adina. Yeah. I'm gonna have to give that away. I don't want to eat all that. Well, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> just maybe give away the couple pieces that you know you'll really go for and then just nibble on the rest. Exactly. <laughs> awesome seeing you. Thanks so much and happy Valentine's to you. Happy Valentine's to you too. Thank you. Yep, we'll see you again soon. And in keeping with the love theme, who doesn't love a great tasting pizza? We're going to send it right over into the kitchen with Bill and Christy. Yeah, and you know, Chef Christy Geneva is here with us and she makes her family's signature pizza. It's prosciutto de parma. I didn't say it as good as she did. But <laughs> it'll taste the same. <laughs> it will. She's going to help us enjoy National Pizza Day that's coming up in less than three minutes.